Hi everybody, it is February 8, 2017. I'm going to just uh, link below to several articles and videos on what we are looking at, what is coming to us, and not at a theater near you, but really close to your home. The 5G rollout. I have seen more and more articles coming out talking about the dangers of 5G. We're at 4G now. 4G, I think, and you can't quote me on these numbers, but I think it's a minimum of like seven or 800 megahertz, and the maximum is 27 megahertz. The 5G, that they're already building the infrastructure for, 5G will be at, let's see, 28 to 100 gigahertz. We're talking about high, high, dangerous frequencies. Now, I've read several articles. I'm not going to read them again. You might come across this, where the Air Force considers 5G a weapon in these videos that I will be showing you, that I hope you listen to, these, these people who have done the research on 5G. They're talking about the dangers. Several experts I have heard say this is 5G, this is the weapon for depopulation. And what is, what's the, the reason behind this 5G network that they're going to be rolling out? Uh, let's see, Dave Hodges on his website has an article, which by the way, the LA Times also published an article about 5G. The LA Times, a mainstream media publication. In that article, they were talking about, hmm, maybe it's not a really good idea because 5G is unsafe. And Dave Hodges has um, provided excerpts of that article and you can read it by clicking on the link below. But I agree with what he states in this article. Why is this dangerous technology being forced upon all of us? Money, it's gonna bring an awful lot of profit to the telecommunications industry. Depopulation and behavior modification. Now, if you've not done the research to understand that the frequencies coming from cell phone towers and your cell phone and the Wi-Fi and the smart meter can affect your mood, affect your emotions, make you angry, make you um, depressed. They can use these frequencies to make a whole population docile and march towards their demise with a smile on their face. You know, when you look at all of these insane protests going on and the riots and the violence that we're seeing in people, now, granted, a lot of these people are paid. They're provocateurs or instigators. They're paid. George Soros has funded a lot of these protests. We all understand that. But there's an awful lot of people who are getting caught up in this. And, you know, just the, the uh, unwitting protests that show up. How is it they could possibly think that these protests are sane? All right. Um, so here is another article, uh, Action Alert, 5G cellular technology will blanket planetary life with ultra high microwave frequencies. The reason why I am going to link below to these articles is because they have a lot of hyperlinks to more information. And I hope you take the time to do the research. Warning for Humanity, the FCC automatically approves the use of untested frequencies in the 24 to 100 gigahertz range or more. Um, and this is happening quickly. So this article is very good because it also has hyperlinks, but it has an awful lot of information, videos, and it has linked to a lot of very good information, like the Bioinitiative Report, where many scientists from around the world came together to review the research on these frequencies 
And if you go to the bioinitiative.org website, you will find the report and you will find abstracts of scientific studies the studies that have shown the biological effects and they range from, oh my God, cancer to um, so many neurological problems and heart problems and um, hormone problems, cellular problems, DNA, breaks DNA. I know that a lot of you know this, so I'm not going to go into it, but please, you know, if you could circulate this information that would be great um, this video I don't know this man's name I left a message for leak project trying to find out his name and have not heard from them but he's obviously somebody who is well researched about 5g and he talks about the mobile now act I will link below to the Mobile Now Act, a bill to provide opportunities for broadband investment and for other purposes. S-19. Well, I believe the Senate's, Senate has passed this, and I believe it's on its way to the House. You can call your House representatives and say, no, you don't want the Mobile Now Act passed because this is the act that allows the telecommunications industry to roll out this 5G network and antennas will be all over the place. So if you lived near a cell phone tower and experienced symptoms, you had the availability to move and find a home that was not so close to a cell phone. Forget it, not with 5G. These are going to be small antennas, antennas but incredibly powerful. And I've heard some say that these antennas will be a quarter of a mile apart. Well, I've heard others say that these antennas will be all over the place on like every third or fifth home. You, there's no way, there's no escape from the 5G network. So, you know, here are the sections of this bill. The 3 gigahertz spectrum, distributed antenna system, and small cell infrastructure. Um, you know, and they use the word deployment. And that's a military term. Deployment. Well, this is the interview with Dave Hodges. He interviewed Virginia Farber, another one who's done a lot of research on the 5G. Um, and it, she tried to get her smart meter removed and was threatened with her heat being turned off in February in Colorado. Uh, it, it's amazing what people are going through, just trying to reduce their exposure to these dangerous microwave frequencies that are pulsating into their home from smart meters um, and prevented every which way. And that's at 4G. We're talking 5G. So I will also link below to this video, Take Back Your Power. Now, if you've not seen that um, documentary, it is a really good documentary about these frequencies and smart meters in particular. Um, watch it. But this, and I can't remember his name, I apologize, but he posted a video about the 5G network. He also was talking about the dangers. He also emailed um, those on his contact list asking them to contact their senators um, because this 5G, it, it, I'm telling you, it is incredibly dangerous. So I'll link below to all this site, Electromagnetic Radiation Safety, it is saferemr.com. And they have tips to reduce your wireless radiation exposure. Um, they have the latest news. Um, I might be on the latest news right now. I don't, I don't think so. Well, it doesn't matter. But right here, International Scientists Appeal on Electromagnetic Fields and Wireless Technology. 
224 scientists from 41 nations signed the International EMF Scientist Appeal appeal to the United Nations. The United Nations is not going to do anything. The United Nations wants this rollout because they can control the entire world's population with these dangerous frequencies. Um, but uh, all of these scientists published peer-reviewed research on electromagnetic fields and the, and the biological effects. And I'll link below to this PDF. The list of schools and organizations that have taken action regarding wireless technology. We have schools in other countries that have removed Wi-Fi because they recognize the dangers. So schools in Italy and Australia and um, is, uh, Israel, Switzerland, New Zealand, they've removed Wi-Fi from their schools. What do we have? We've got a massive rollout of Wi-Fi in public schools. Children are the most susceptible because their brains and their skulls are still developing. So these frequencies can easily permeate their skull more easily than adults. And yet we see these children in school every single day, five days a week, sitting there for hours, getting Y fried. I did post a documentary just a few, I don't know, about a half hour ago on my channel, Why Fried? I hope you watch it. These children are absolutely being, their health is being destroyed. Wi-Fi, some of the studies, if you go to the bioinitiative.org site, well, you will find studies that they've shown that Wi-Fi, these electromagnetic and microwave frequencies cause infertility, um, also cause tumors, also cause cancer. It, well, so um, I hope you get this information out. It's coming. Yeah, I, you can call your senators. You can tell them, or the House representatives that you have, you tell them whatever you want. As far as I'm concerned, I don't think anything will work unless millions of Americans get outraged and get upset about the fact that they are living in an environment now that is dangerous. Dangerous. You know, I've spoken to people who have neurological problems, who have health problems, and I have told them that they might want to do some research. These are the people who have Wi-Fi in their homes. They still have Wi-Fi in their homes, and they haven't done the research. So some of these studies show that these frequencies are addictive. Is that what we are saying? Perhaps. But on the surface, it looks like convenience trumps health today. You know, all of these articles, even in, in mainstream media, about cell phones causing brain cancer, brain tumors, and you still see people on their cell phones, you know, smashed into their ear, getting pulses of microwave frequencies right into their brain. It, it's phenomenal. Um, so, you know, I don't understand it. You know, even just getting rid of your Wi-Fi and getting an Ethernet cable to ground the frequencies so that you can use the Internet, um, uh, you know, that, that, that's not a big um, sacrifice, you know, and you could get your computer in several different rooms if you, you know, have to use it in, in different rooms in your home. Um, you can just ground the frequencies, and that way you've reduced your exposure to the frequencies coming into your home. You know, no one is spared this. These frequencies affect all life forms. They affect the bees and the birds and the trees. They affect animals, our four-legged pets, and they affect us, the two-legged, walking around the planet. Every cell in your body is getting affected by the frequencies. You don't see them, you may not feel them, but they're there. And unfortunately, uh, for people who, well, I can't see them and I can't really feel them, so I think it's safe, <laughs> eventually you will go over the edge and become symptomatic. And I will tell you, in the years that I've been on YouTube, 
I've had an awful lot of subscribers who in the first couple of years when I was posting these videos, they were fine. They're not fine today. So all the links are below. I hope you check out this information. I wish that there was a way that we can stop this. But I don't believe that we can stop it unless we have the majority of the population demanding, demanding that this not be rolled out. Um, well, look at what's happening to our population. They don't care about their own health. They're insane with these protests and they're rather apathetic and kind of docile. So even at the 800 to 2700 megahertz, they're still able to use these frequencies to control the population. At 5G, we're going to see an we're going to see all illness uh, just exponentially explode. We're already seeing it exponentially rise. So, I hope you're all doing well. Have a great night, guys.